Hey guys, so looks like a nice day out there, but it's actually minus 10 degrees today. We had a weird winter storm after being spring for a little bit. It was plus 10 and it went down to minus 15. <laughs> so I'm on leave today and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time clearing out this parts shelf. Today I think I'm gonna deal with this Cobb shop short shifter that's been sitting on that shelf for a while. It's time for it to finally go in the car. Okay, so this shifter should be a relatively straightforward install. Essentially, we're just gonna take off this bezel here, um, unscrew the gear knob and remove the whole center part like that. And then that's gonna give us access to a rubber boot that covers the gear or shifter linkage. And we'll deal with that once we get there. So. All right, so here's that rubber boot we were talking about. It's gonna have two plastic poppets there. And I think once I take those off, I'll be able to remove this. You can ignore all these audio wires. That's just sound system stuff. That's the plastic cap. And that's what it was covering. So I'll do the second one. All right, so with those plastic caps out, we're good to go to remove this uh, shifter boot. Now, where you see there's staples along the sides, those staples are stapling this rubber cover down onto the, what I think is probably the soundproofing for the transmission hub. So if you tug on this, you'll see that it comes up and you can actually see the hole through to the shifter mechanism there, the gear linkage. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up this boot and then I'm just gonna staple everything back down. Otherwise, I'm gonna be having to remove all that stuff too and that looks like way more of a hassle. So. Sacrifice the staples. Okay, so I removed all the staples and now we can get our first look at the gear linkage. And that's what it looks like. So if I just keep pulling here, this should come on out. And that came off without any issues. Okay. And here we go, there's the linkage in there. So what you can see is essentially our short shifter is going to go and sit in there just like that. Um, we've, we have to remove these two bolts on the side. Make sure you keep this this bolt that, uh, that joins the linkage there. And then we're also going to have to get in there and remove that little ring there. Now it's pretty greased up. Let me get this light a bit closer. Yeah, it's pretty greasy in there. Uh, you're supposed to use C-clips or snap ring pliers to uh, to take that out, but I'm gonna see if I can do it with just some regular pliers, and if not, I'll make a run to the hardware store and pick some up for about 10 bucks or so. So first thing I'll do is just remove this bolt and get the shifter out of the way. So I'm gonna grab two 12 millimeter wrenches. One of them is a ratcheting wrench to make this easier, and get in there. Okay, so I got the nut off. Let's take the bolt out. All right, that was a bit tricky to get out. I had to just wobble this around a little bit, but came free, linkage is free. And now we can move in there with the pliers and see if we can take that ring out. I wasn't able to get my pliers in there. The heads get in, but then they slip out. So. I'm gonna run out and grab that snap ring pliers and come back at this and get this done. All right, I got the snap ring pliers and it was super easy to take that snap ring off so you can see it sitting there. Next thing I'm gonna do is literally just grab the shifter and yank it out and it should come out of the hole. And there you have it. So this ball is gonna stay on there, the snap ring's gonna stay on there. We're gonna take this to the bench and then we're gonna transfer all this stuff onto the new shifter. Throw. So essentially what we're gonna do is all the hardware that's on the stock shifter is just gonna slide right over to the other one. We're gonna to have to take off this ball, which is just a pull, pop it on, put the snap ring on over here so it's ready to put into the car. And then the last thing will be this bushing here. So that bushing is just gonna slide right out of there. We'll just take a, maybe a screwdriver or 
something and knock that out and then slide it into the uh, the new one. And I'm going to take as much grease as I can and put it on there as well. I love a flathead screwdriver, it's useful for everything. Alright, so sleeves are out, bushing is out. Let's put them into the new one. And I'm gonna grab some grease and just grease up the inside there, just so uh, it's just like the old one. Get the bushings in. Simple as that, we've got a shifter ready to drop in. All right, so here's our short shifter. Now what you wanna do is make sure that the cob portion is facing the front. It needs to sit like this to work properly. So essentially you're just gonna push the thing down the same way you pulled it out and then take your snap ring pliers and squeeze the ring, push it in to make sure it's locked down in there. Once it's down and seated properly, then we'll start working on the shift height and uh, the adjustment features. So I think this is easily the hardest part of this install. Just trying to get this damn C-clip back into the hole. Just because of the clearance with the shifter and, you know, how tight it is in there. All right, so fiddled with it for a while. Was finally able to get that snap ring in there. And I have the, the heads on the back side here instead of the front like it was before. Really shouldn't matter though. Um, tips on how to do that. Play with the shifter fork position. Just hit the clutch and take your hand and move it around so you can get the space that you need to play with the shifter. And then um, use your snap ring and another pliers to force that thing down there. Once it's in, make sure you really stuff that shifter back down and take your trusty flathead and push it down because what can happen is as you're fiddling around with this, moving it around, trying to put that snap ring down, this can get a little bit unseated and sit higher. And then you'll think that snap ring is in there, but really it won't be and it'll just pop back out on you. So once you're done, you think it's in position, push this down again, push the ring back down again, and you should be good. Now we're gonna put the bolt back together and get the linkage all set up. And then we'll um, undo these Allen keys and play with the height and see how that goes. Okay, so I got the bolt back in there. Now we can start playing with the adjustments. What you're gonna wanna do is Go through your uh, your gears and make sure you can get into all of your gears because you're gonna have to adjust it uh, to make sure you're gonna you can get into two, gear two and four most likely. As you can see, that doesn't want to go into two. It'll go into one, no problem. So I'm gonna play with the adjustments here and I'll show you what you need to do. All right, so we're gonna go grab a size three um, Allen key and get into the side bolts over here uh, the bottom one what it does is it controls the length of the ball and uh, length of the ball to the shifter so essentially how high the uh, the fork is gonna sit from the chassis the top two just hold the the shifter knob in so that adjusts really the height of the knob the bottom one is going to adjust the length of the throw the top one is going to adjust the length of the knob now the cob instructions are not very clear on that <coughs> So I had to play with it a little bit. And what I was finding is that when I had this sit as low as possible, I was having difficulty get into, getting into second gear. It would hold there for a second and then it would pop itself back out without me touching the clutch or anything. And when I had it too high, I was having some issues too. So I just kind of, what I did is I loosened the bottom bolt and not this one, this is the second one. There's a third one down there. Loosen the bottom bolt play with the height of the shifter a little bit and then I took my knob screwed it on there and just went through the gears like I would as I'm driving there you go so it seems to be working really nicely if you're going to have issues it's most likely going to be second gear here or fourth gear so just play with the uh, height there a little bit uh, take your knob, put it on there if it helps you feel it. You can even drive the car around like this for a while and uh, work out any kinks if you like. And then when you're comfortable, grab your rubber boot, throw it on the shifter, grab your plate, 
throw it back on there and uh yeah put everything back together me personally though i'm actually gonna go ahead and take my radio apart and mask everything off and then try and uh paint that radio to match all the rest of the black stuff in here because i really don't like having the twin tone interior so i don't think you guys need any more instructions than that if you have any questions you can go ahead and leave me a comment otherwise leave me a like and a subscribe and I'll be on to the next one. Thanks a lot. I just finished painting my center console there to match. As you can see, that looks pretty nice. Much more uniform, much cleaner looking. And with the short shifter, the gear shift is sitting a lot lower. Overall, the interior is looking uh, quite a bit cleaner. So I'm gonna leave a link to uh, what kind of paint I used here. One thing to note is that if you've got the JDM doubled in, the paint that I used to match this to that is actually so similar to this color already that these buttons I didn't paint and the bezel I did paint. So you can see how, how close that is. If you were to just go ahead and paint the bottom part and didn't want to disassemble that, it would probably look okay too, but if you're gonna do it, do it right. Might as well uh, disassemble it and uh, paint it all up. So now that I got that done, I think I need a new gear shift knob. So if any of you guys have any ideas, any suggestions on what you've got, what looks good, uh, throw me a comment and let me know and maybe I'll look into that. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.